much respect for Camila for keeping it real, although she says her strategy in life is, quote, fake it till you make it, which is an odd thing to say, considering some fans think her relationship with Sean is fake. Very interesting. Very interesting. Camilla was performing with that man, Sean Mendez. They're still trying to make us believe that he's into her, if you know what I'm saying. And I think you do. You know what I'm saying? He looks so awkward up there with that girl. Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes are still trying to prove to us that they have sex. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> this is a scripted makeout. Like, what is the deal? She can't be that excited to make out with him. So Look at this one. He's looking away. Fake relationship. Yeah, How you doing, Shawn? <laughs> Honestly, I want to I say I want to talk to you guys about this stuff. It's just not just me in the relationship, you know? There's there's another person involved, and I can't say things that I feel. It's not just me deciding. Who decides? <laughs> yeah, they went from not wanting to talk about it to packing on the PDA everywhere like this. Can't imagine the pain that you feel when I kiss his face. What's the best way for me to overcome PDA? Not something to overcome, just do it. Just do it! I love it! Thanks, Sean! Public displays of affection on Instagram are too much. <gasps> Ouch. Wow. Well, okay. I feel I feel personally targeted. <laughs> yeah, you feel seen. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> wow. So you would never partake in a PDA? Or like, you know those posts where they're just like, Oh, and gee, I love you so much, babes. You're my everything. It's like that. Mm, so mm. it's like something you can send in a text message. I get that. I actually get. I actually agree with that. Yeah. I don't really. I've never really done that. I've never really done that. I love you, at Shawn Mendes. Thank you for being so there for me yesterday. And I'm getting kind of annoyed that this is continuing. Sean needs a social media detox. Now, if you're confused because you just saw Sean's latest post on your timeline, don't worry, we were too. Sean isn't done sharing with fans. He's just done using the apps. He currently is sending his manager content to post on his behalf. <laughs> we haven't talked about it, but uh, he liked my pictures on Instagram, so. Wait, is Camila actually blushing over Sean's manager? And do you like her new, this couple of her with Sean? Oh, I've definitely, I've definitely heard about it, of course. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. I mean, it's like, They're a really wow. good looking couple. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying that it's a fake relationship. I think that they... I mean, they're clearly like out there and like doing stuff. So I feel like, I mean, that's definitely their world and their relationship. Right, and there could be a tour on the way. No, I you think can't because it's like nobody knows what's really right. going on. No, I mean, I mean, it's as real. You know what I mean? It's like, as I real think, as we I see think it in real. the pictures. I think it's real. So I mean, it's as real as we see it, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think it's as real as we see it. Right? Yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah. It's as real. You know what I mean? It's like, as real I think, as we I think see it in the pictures. What is he wearing? Uh, and, that bag and, I mean, it <laughs> and then on my neck, I have. Oh, she didn't make it. Just kidding. Yeah. Oh, that's wow, cool. that's cool. Isn't that awesome? The dragonfly for my grandma. you guys didn't know already. Yeah, 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 we all knew. But it's just nice to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Austin Mahone and Camila Cabello have called it quits just two weeks after announcing that they were a couple. No, and I hate when people are like, oh, this song is about Austin Mahone. <laughs> <laughs> no. He wishes it was about him. Yeah. No, but it's not even that. It was just such a long time ago. But I definitely... I I would never I don't I don't like to do the 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 public, public thing, thing cuz it's, it's just I feel like actually ever since that I was like I'm never doing this again. 
Do you think Sean and Camila's relationship is fake? A lot of people think they're doing it for publicity. I don't know. They could be. I mean, I like what they're doing. You know, they're doing a lot of recognition, which is cool. You know, I'm happy for them. Did they used to do that with you? The PR, they set you up with a different, different person. What do you mean? No, back in the day, they would set you up with like a different celebrity, a female. Like the PR would work together. Yeah, I, mean, I think everybody's been doing that for years. Yeah, exactly. Who exactly. knows what's real or fake? You know, I mean, they only really know. Yeah. It was Becky G, I think, back in the day, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah, 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 I remember yeah. that. That's one of my closest friends. Wait a minute. I know that hand. It was in the fall 1973 Boulevard Watch catalog. The world's greatest hand model. Blah, 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 blah. Lies, lies. Blah, 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 blah. You tell me that I'm complicated, and that might be an understatement. You really, really know me, the future and the old me. We, we haven't been dating for that long. We've been dating for since July 4th, officially. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, I'm very excited about You're looking at me, we're walking down the aisle. Scott and Teddy both met me when I was so young. I was 15, oh, so, and they like taught me how to play guitar and piano, and like, and then we would just sit there, and I'd be like, yeah, I like this girl, her name's Camila. <laughs> <laughs> You guys just look so happy at the moment. Is that yeah. is that the case? Yeah, we're pretty happy. I really, really love him a lot. Really love him a lot. Love. Mm. You don't call an album romance unless you're in that frame of mind. Like, unless you're feeling those feelings. Totally. Are we, are oh, we yeah. in love? I'm definitely in love. Oh. For sure. That, you know, and they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. The inspiration behind my album is really being in love. <laughs> it's called Romance. <laughs> so it's like all stories about just my life the past couple years and just the chaos that ensues when you fall in love. Like it's just really intense, you know. I mean, I feel like the past couple years have, like the theme of it has been like falling in, in love for me. Before, like in my first album, I think I was just like, I don't know. I had I would have like crushes on people, but like I wouldn't. I didn't actually have any real life stories. Oh, what are you talking about? Before that, I just wasn't. I was just like writing songs from imagination. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know my. They know my interview answers. This is the problem. So these aren't actual relationships you've. Been in? No, yeah, they are. They are. When I changed the album name, it definitely changed a yeah. lot, like the direction in which I wanted to take yeah. it. And all of a sudden, it became about trying to capture who I am and like yeah. my essence and like how I love people and how I feel when I fall in love. And how I feel when I fall in love. And how I feel when I fall in love. There's like the movie, like romantic effect that comes from, you know, writing a song for somebody. Like that's, I don't know, that's but so if they nice. Ask you it's kind of like it didn't happen. Are you like... Let's get you a psychic energy prediction for 20. Será que vendría algo con Camila Cabello, por ejemplo? I mean, si si nos gustaría, si nos toca, pero no sé. Vamos a ver. Nunca sabes lo que va a pasar en el futuro, así que. 
I was a young kid in the New Kids, and I had CBS, I had my manager, I had all these people like telling me, you cannot let anybody know you're gay. 